like. I can't type. Okay, so what we're going to do here, um, check my power. I got 65%. That's an hour 39. That's plenty. Okay. That's kind of scary. I think I might have left it at school. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to um, do what's exercise three. And James, if you go to, um, if you just go to design right, um, studio.updog.co um, and right across the top there there's a link to today's tiddly wiki which is what we're doing now um, or there's what? no um, what's new that one yeah I thought there was just um, recap are you caching this maybe Yeah, I'm doing a hard reset. No, it's not. Yeah, sure. no, you're fine. Okay. At any rate, so it's um. Yeah, I did that really quickly. Then um. Um. That's so strange. I do. I have a version of it. Oh well. Let me um. Let me update that so I can get you the link because that's the uh, link I gotta get to you. And that's in here. I'll um, do recent. Look at recent. There it is. Tiddly Wiki Jam. Why isn't it showing up at the car? Okay. So that's what we're doing is we're going to talk about, um, this is called the Tiddly Wiki Jam. So it's something to uh, where people can hang out. We could call it a Tiddly Wiki Hangout too. Um, but what we're going to do is run through what I'll call a pre-release preview of my third wiki. And so you can go ahead and click on that. And what that's going to take you to is a... Um, basically a, a wiki that you're familiar with, but if you look up in the upper right-hand corner, you see that you're on version 3A. So V3 will come out soon, as soon as we, we'll take off the A as soon as we get it. And then it's also marked as pre-release. So some of these things don't work, um, but they're getting there. Um, and so basically this is the exercise, my third wiki, it comes up in cycle two, I think. Um, and what we're gonna do, you go ahead and click on that color tab. Um, and what we're going to do is make objects um, and collections and basically objects. And I just chose shapes and colors to play with. Um, and so if you do the overview tab, um, eventually it'll open on the overview tab, which is the third one. Um, so we're basically looking at um, creating a set of objects and then representing them. And so what we're going to do, and there'll be more detail on this, but what we're going to do here is walk through the steps. And I hope that watching someone walk through the steps will help you kind of see it come more clearly. So James, if you uh, divide your screen in half, um, and then go to tiddlywiki.com in the left panel or the right, whichever you choose. I always like to write on the right and read on the left, but that's just me. The problem is I have three monitors hooked up, so I got to do it manually like this. Okay. Can you see both screens? No, we're only seeing one, so... Um, oh, hang on one second. But that's okay. It's... it's um... All right. What about there now? we go. Thank you. Very good. So, yeah, so go to tiddlywiki.com, um, and then your standard behavior here is to... Um, I should put links in there, but... Uh, um, you, you go here to download empty because you're always going to get the latest version and it's always going to be the cleanest version. Um, and so it should, yeah, I always ask you to, you know, have it ask you where you're going to save it and let's call it my third wiki. Yeah, and you know, cap, caps, that's, caps are kind of annoying in URLs because you have to make sure you use them. It's case sensitive, so, but it's fine because mostly you don't type them, but um, that's perfectly fine. And then you put it in your um, updog. Updog. So you put it in your 
dog sight. That's actually the one you want to bring out there, isn't it? Yep. And you can put it right there. Um, and now you want to open it in Firefox. Okay, and then while we're at it, let's name it. Um, so let's call it my third week. And so you always, you're, it opens in getting started, so it's a good chance to name it. And um, the other student, I can't remember who it was, but uh, had the brilliant idea of putting the URL to your wiki right there in the subtitle. So you can go ahead up and grab the name of your wiki in, the U, up in your URL up there, but start with the stuff that starts with the James W. And yeah, exactly. So copy that, paste that into the subtitle. And in the front of it, it's HTTP, yeah, let's put that in the front, it's HTTP colon, HTTPS colon slash slash. And then before the first slash. So before the first slash after James W, sorry, before the next slash, I should have said, you want to add after James W, it's jamesw.updog.co. Uh, other side of the slash, yeah, .updog.co. Uh, not .com, British.co. And so, um, yeah, and then so now you want to save your wiki. And in a little while, we'll check that URL. But now the URL is up there. So if somebody else comes across it, they'll always find that URL and they might see my critique of it, but now they'll be able to click to the original. So that's the live version. Um, that's sort of the original version. So that's a good thing to put in the uh, um, subtitle. And then default tiddlers, um, um, you, you, you can call it my third wiki. And if you're gonna put spaces in there, which is fine, then you have to enclose it in double square brackets. Yep, and so now you wanna save the wiki and reload it, make sure all these save changes saved. And that looks good and click on that URL and we'll see if the URL works. And it's there, cool. So now you can, you can close the third tab where not going to work with that anymore, but it's good. So that's the one that you use to share. Um, so what we're going to do is um, make some objects. Okay. And so part of this is a little bit rote. And so you just kind of go with the flow and we're going to make a, a set of objects. Um, and so for just a minute, and I, I need a graphic of this, but I haven't quite come up with it, but we're going to, we want to describe the objects we're going to create in terms of attributes. And so if you go over to the left and you scroll and you click over to um, color again, um, scroll down and get the, the my color tab, we're gonna create a set of objects um, and, and there's a set of eight objects in front of you, okay? There's a large black circle, a small black circle, a large black square, a small black square. There's a large red, small red, large red, small red, right? So those objects, those are all separate tiddlers, in fact. Um, and if you click on my third TiddlyWiki objects, the second tab in, um, and scroll down, you'll see that uh, you can right there, and this kind of describes what we're doing, okay? So we're gonna create a tiddler that's gonna be a single object. We're gonna describe that tiddler in three dimensions. And in the example that we're about to run through, I'm gonna use shape, size, and color. So I've got a um, square, large, red, okay? And um, each of the dimensions are gonna have two alternatives or two values. And so my shapes are circles and squares, my colors are black and red, my sizes are large and small. And we're gonna create tiddlers um, with those kinds of titles like circle, large, red, okay? And then we're gonna tag each tiddler circle, large, and red. And um, if you think about it, you might see why there would be eight tiddlers in this set, because there's two for each of the shapes, two for each of the colors, two for each of the sizes. Two cubed equals eight, or two times two times two equals eight. 
And so if we went to a third shape, if we do triangles and green and medium, we'd have three by three by three, 27 tiddlers, and I thought that was too many to create. So James, are you up for doing eight tiddlers? Sure. Okay. So I talked for a while there, but then, um, so let's start by doing a drag and drop and um, see if you can find a link to a tiddler there. Maybe under the table of contents there under color. So scroll down um, and you can open up a, um, I thought there's a link under objects, but keep scrolling down and there under color is that a, that's a table of contents. And I think you can, yeah, you can click, yeah, click that. Um, Oh, there's no links there, but open up the color tiddler um, the, to the left of the table of contents. Sorry, I'll back up. Yeah, no. Scroll up a little bit there, and it, that's just to the left of the word color. Um, I think, isn't that a table? Does that thing turn or no? Yeah. Click. Yep. Yeah. Ah, there it is. Yeah, and do the black. Open the black. That's not that obvious, is it? Nope. Okay, so let's start with circle large black. And what you do is you can click on it and drag it, drag and drop over there and let go and voila, click import. And um, you've got it. Now, if you really wanna drag and drop them all and not create them all, that's okay. But um, it's the experience that counts. So go ahead and open up circle large black and you can make this full screen because we're done with Design Right Studio for now. Yeah, and this will give us a little bit more space to work with. And um, so, James, what what do you? You're kind of stuck with circles, but you're not stuck with sizes. I mean, you can manipulate the size, but you can call them any words you'd like. And you're not stuck with colors. So, open up this tiddler, and these are the simplest SVG graphics. And I just learned about how to manipulate these things. And you don't really need to understand much about them. Um, you can. Um, close the sidebar James and add and open up the preview window on this yep and um, yeah that's fine and yeah you can click now we've got a bigger view of it and so the way these things work is imagine a, like a, a grid a 100 by 100 grid and that's set by the width and the height up there 100 by 100 and don't even bother to mess with it in a circle just leave them all okay and then that CX is the point in that grid where the um is the x-axis and the y-axis in the grid so 50 50 is the exact center of a 100 by 100 grid go over 50 spots in the x down 50 rows in the y and you're the exact center of the box and then for a circle the r is 50 and so james you want to make this into a small circle Change the R to some number that's less than 50 or way less. And that's a small circle. And uh, would you like to color it? Change the color black to a, a color that you would like. Ah, I can't use that. You put a number sign in front of it. Number sign? Yeah. Pound sign. There we go. Yeah. But, um, Mm, okay, but that's gonna like fine. <laughs> I'll change. Hang on. <laughs> no, it's just gonna make it less pretty. But I don't mind that. Yeah. Um, so let's change the name of your tiddler, and now you're gonna name it. It's called a circle. Keep it in this order, um, just because it will kind of make things flow a little bit better. Um, and so you want to call this small, you got to make the, and um, purple, there you go. Um, and now let's change the tag. So get rid of the black tag, get rid of the large tag, and add tags, small, and purple. Okay, and then we'll keep the My Third Tiddly Wiki objects, and I'll show you what we do with that in a Mac. Okay, so they close this tiddler, or save it, sorry. And let's look at it, it looks good. Click on circle, do we have any other circles in your collection of objects yet? No. Do we have any other objects? No. 
Any other purples? One, I mean, we have the one, okay, so it's only referencing itself now. So let's create another one. And so go and clone this tiddler, and the clone is on the more actions, and clone. It's about the fourth one down. Um, and so um, you can just start at the top, but what are you gonna make this one? You wanna make this large, you wanna change the color, what do you wanna do? And so the reason that that's um, the radius of the circle is half of the width. Um, so you can't, you're not going to fit it inside a 100 by 100 box. So 50 is the largest you can build in this box because it has to, if you think about the radius, it's not the diameter. So it's half the, uh, yeah. Up in your tags. Okay, so save that and um, open up your sidebar um, just for a second there. And um, under tools, uh, maybe under more. Tags, yeah. And so I think, oh, click on tag manager. That's what I was getting for, yeah. Um, so you can keep this open and once, you, yeah, change the color of the red tag to red <laughs> and purple tag to purple. And, um, you know, you can give large, uh, if, if you wanted, you know, whatever. Um, ah, you wanted to use it. Okay. Um, so. It was hard to read. Yeah, you, you can play with them. Um, it just gives you a little bit more sort of graphic understanding, okay, of, of what you're... Yeah. So me, I'd probably put both shapes in the same color. Let's do another shape. Go back to my... Uh, divide it in half now. And grab the uh, square. Bring the square over. And let's look at the square code. You can, yeah, you can full size it. Let's look at the square code. And so the square is actually a rectangle in a 100 by 100 box. And I make it a square by making the width and the height the same. And of course, if you want to make it a rectangle, you may, but you can make it any size up to 100. And you don't have to, I don't know how to place it in the grid. So they all float to the upper left, I think. So if you make it 10 by 10, you'll see what happens to it. Um, so you change the width and the height in the second line. Sorry, not the, the yeah. Yeah. And so that's a rectangle. That's a 10 by 10 square. And it always floats up there. I don't know how to move it. You're welcome to learn how. It probably needs another piece of code in there somewhere. Um, and then at the fill, it works the same way. And you can do whatever you want up there. You can play with those numbers and have a blast. Yeah, you're, that's, no, let's not do that. Um, and so change the color to one of your colors. What are you doing, purple? Yep. Okay. And um, adjust your tags, yep, and your, I think, I think, yeah, can you actually, you can tag from there. That's interesting. Yeah, so if you would scroll up, I had not thought of using tags this way, but make circle and square the same color. and make large and small the same color, but a different one.
I mean, yeah. So the sizes are that blue thing. Okay. Yeah, and then the colors are okay. So the so we'll get a little bit of breaks there, and we're gonna we need to get to eight of these. So how many do we have so far? Two. Two. Um, and so um, there's really there's only eight, and so it's just a kind of a brute force thing. So um, it's a clone, and I'll just keep repeating the sort of things, and it becomes a little bit of rope, but it does help you. So it's like it's a click that and clone. And um, so we'll do the, uh, yeah, make it large, right? Yep. And yeah, and part of this is a little bit of a, bit of a logic game, if you will, in your mind to kind of, not a game, but a way of thinking. A, a, a way like, what am I missing? And then strategically choose the one you're missing so that you have to change the least amount of code. Um, so we got one, two, three, four. <laughs> it helps to do them in some some order, but um, and if you want to, and if you, um, now how can you tell which ones you're missing? So let's let's build some indexing for because now that we're starting to build a collection, let's build the indexing in and see how it grows. So click on circle, click on one of your circle tags, and um, just go to the circle tiddler and edit this tiddler and divide in half again. And go to the circle tiddler or the, the circle tiddler on mine and you can open it up under shape, you'll get to it. So open under shape, yep, and click on circle and open up circle. And um, let's look at the code for that. Okay, and so this is the first time you're seeing this code. Um, and it will work. You might have to edit the code to change your colors, but in this case, you're using the same shapes. You can just drag and drop if you'd like. You can cut and paste, or you could drag and drop the whole circle tiddler, and that would be fine either way. Um, but what it does and, um, is it introduces you to this concept of a filter, and I'm gonna show you filters in some other circumstances. Um, and then it introduces you to the context of what's called transclusion. That's that second line. James, if you highlight that text line, um, that's called the transclusion. If you unhighlight it, we'll take a quick look at it again. It opens with two curly braces and then two exclamation points and then the word text and closes with two curly braces. And you could type these things as well. Um, in fact, in the morning demo, if you watch that one, um, I had them type the code, uh, but that's fine. And then you close it with lists. And, and I think copying and pasting works really well. And by the way, if you change the word circle there and the tag to square, you'll get the squares. Okay, now what that middle line is doing, and change it back to circle. Okay, and what that middle line is doing is saying, well, tell me, what are you gonna tell me about these tiddlers that are tagged with circle? And you're asking it to tell you the contents of the field called text. Change the word text to title. And you'll get a list of the titles. Circle small purple, circle large red, put something after the word title. Um, like us um, after that last braces, I'm sorry, no spaces in there after the braces and put like an XXX or something like that. And so you'll see where that break is, or you can back over the X's and put some vertical bars in there if you want to divide them or comma. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the underscores are going to work for some reason. I know they're special characters anyway. There you go. Okay, so the fields of the tiddlers are title, which you understand, so backspace over those there, James. And um, the other field you've played with is tags, so if you change the word title to tags, you'll get a comma-separated list of the tags of each of the tiddlers. And if you put the word title and then the tags, you'll get them all. We're really interested in the the contents, which in our case are shapes. 
And sort of paradoxically, for some reason, the contents field is called text, even though it's a picture. <laughs> but that's what are you going to do? Um, so there we go. And so the reason there's two of them is because you ask for a list of of all of the tiddlers that are tagged circle. And there happen to be two of them. Um, and so it goes through, it finds the first one. In this case, um, go up to tag circle and let's sort our list. So after that bracket, after the second bracket, type the word sort. Um, in, oh, I'm sorry, inside the, it's a really weird spot. It there, right there, sort and then open bracket. Let's sort it by the name field on the, yeah, bracket, and let's sort it by the title. So write title and close the bracket. And now they're going to be in the alpha, in the order of the Hitler. So I guess it's called large comes before small. What are yours called? Circle comes before circles. The so circles large comes before small. So so that's the alphabetical order. Um, okay, so that's our circles and. Um, how many should there be? There should be four. Yes. So make two more circles. So why did you choose orange? Huh? You chose orange. Yeah. So the idea, so if you divide the, the, the screen in half, and I should have paid closer attention, well, I was thinking about the orange. So the idea is to create a set of tiddlers that have at least two um, dimension, two different values on every dimension. Are you still going to have that? You'll have three colors. Okay, that's fine, I guess. We'll, have, we'll see what happens. Well, your circle has two colors, right? Well, you only have two colors, though. You've got three colors running. No, I don't. Purple, red, oh, and orange. Oh, okay. Yeah, man, let me fix that one. Okay. <laughs> it's like playing that Simon game where you got to remember yes. everything. <laughs> and, there's, um, and there's something... Um, the reason to have the same two is uh, circle, small, purple, I th yeah, um, is that that's going to form the perfect set of eight in which every dimension will have at least two. You have you've two large red circles. Okay, edit the code for circle. I can't resist. This is not good. The edit the circle. code for circle. And around those words, text, let's make that a link. And so you do that outside of the braces and put it in the front first, because otherwise it will make no sense. And it's a single angle bracket followed by a dollar sign, just like the word list above, but the word is link. And close the angle bracket. And then after the word text, just like we close the list command below, you have to close the link command here. So it's slash dollar sign link. Um, and again, you don't need to type code. You can pretty much copy and paste. But when we want to play with things, um, so now, now you can click on that second large red circle over on the right, and it will take you to that tiddler, which is, oh, it's a draft. OK. Yeah. Yeah. I think you needed another, yeah, you need a large purple. Yep. And you can navigate back to, yeah, okay. So we, what do we need? Purple and red, a small red, there you go. Yep.
You can go ahead and get, and we, you can um, clone the circle tiddler into a square tiddler. And change the name. Everything else is the same. That's a good name. <laughs> um, we forgot to tag circle, but what are we going to tag square? It's a shape. Yeah. Tag it shape. Okay. And um, there you go. Um, you already had one called square. Oh. I'll see it. Don't see it. That's. Then let override it. Okay. Yeah. Ah, whatever. Yeah. There it is. How'd you get one called square? Okay. <laughs> Three minutes ago. Uh, you got a space after that, actually. Edit that again. Um, and, and usually that doesn't matter, but okay, delete it. Okay, good. Sometimes it does. Okay. So now you need two more squares. Yep. And I think those are linked, so you can click on the large square and clone it right from there. Right. Um, so what's happening here is you got a lot of tiddlers open. Did it take you to the right one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes you get, and you can just close them all and start over whenever you're ready. And did you see how it um, updated that square tiddler immediately? Yep. Like as you were editing, um, because it's a single page, H, it's a single HTML file that sort of is recursing on itself almost. Okay, so tag circle, edit, you just had the circle tiddler there. Scroll down and edit the circle tiddler as, yep, and tag it as, okay. And okay, and um, so we got all eight. We should be, let's see, let's look just at circle and square. Okay, so um, if we were to have a tiddler to describe each set of four, which other ones do we need so far? What do we have? We've got circle and square. What else do we need? Um, size. So which tiddlers do we need? We need a small tiddler and a large tiddler. Yeah, we need a small tiddler, a large tiddler, and a size tiddler, um, which you could just... You don't even have to do this. So we love to clone. The clone square into large. Are we going to tag it large too? No, it's it's a, large as a shape, but you want to change the name, the tag that you're looking for from square to large down below in the code. So this filter tag large. There we go. Sort title. Okay, that's good. Save that. And it's tagged shape. That's uh wait a second, hit cancel. Um it's it's okay to, I'm not sure why it thinks you have a large tidbit. Go ahead, click on that. It's 
Okay, and that's weird, but you could have put, um, edit the, it's it edited, it's actually, it's not a shape, I'm an idiot. It's a size, so <laughs> delete the shape tag just like you wanted to. Oh, leave it. Edit size. Which I don't think you have. Nope. Yeah, but you can get rid of the shape tag. All right. Yeah. There we go. And then you can, um, and now you want to clone large into small because you won't have to change the tag. Are we placing bets? Let's see if we got another small. Um. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, you can override it. It's fine. I don't know how where they got created. It might be when we created the tag for some reason. And so we've got, and we need the purple and the red. Uh, capital R. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how where all these are coming from, but I think it's okay. And we need a purple. Okay, so these tiddlers, the purple, the red, the small, the large, the square, and the circle, each describe a collection of four tiddlers. Um, and you could go further and create tiddlers that described collections of two tiddlers. How would you, and let's just do one of those. Okay, so let's clone purple. And what would be the collection? Which two do you want? Purple squares. Here. We want purple squares. You want squares. Okay. Yep. What were your other choices? Circle. Yeah. Red. No, you can't get any red tiddlers if you're starting with four purples. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Size. Larges or smalls? Yep. Yep. So you chose, what'd you choose? Square? Square, purple, small. No, no, no. That, there's only yeah. one square, purple, small. You can yeah. only have two. You must have two. You want large or small, circle or square, and you chose square, okay? Okay. So you chose, James. Okay, so anyway, so in front of the word tag purple, uh, no, keep that there. In front of that first word tag, right mm -hmm. there, Inside the bracket. Okay, let's type the word tag. Open bracket. And what'd you say? Square. Yep. Um, and spell it differently. <laughs> you, uh, yeah. And close the bracket. There we go. So what we're getting now is the collections of twos, right? And so what are you going to call this tiddler? Call it um, square purples or square purple, purple squares, whatever you want to call it, right? Okay. And we could, okay, thanks. Yep. And save that. And we could keep going, but we're not going to, okay? We could go to collections of twos. There's obviously, you can, and you can think about it. There's a lot of them, okay? There's the all the different combinations um, of, and, and we, you could imagine a math table or a graphical table that would show you those, but what we have the ability to do is sort of tell stories about these. Um, and right now what we're doing is playing with some management of them. So if you make that a half circle, we have one last thing to do. So I'm half screen, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting, it's the purple and red and, doing this since 10 this morning scroll down and um or let's scroll up there's a there's a the word tiddler's dimension 
click on, oh, I don't have dimension in there. Scroll down, I just saw a link to it. Um, there's Dement Deliverable. Under Deliverable, click on Dimension. Yeah. And so this is what I'm gonna ask you to build, something like this. Um, that sort of tells a story. If you open the code for this, You could, um, oh no, we're not going to do this. <laughs> Never mind. If you'd like to do that, you could open the code for that again. Yeah, we're not going to, if you're interested in figuring out what's going on there, let me know. That's sort of more than I expected that to be. So we're not doing that. So close that. Um, I'm going to ask you to back in your tiddly in yours, James. Um, so at this point, you've kind of created a bunch of those, what I think of as, you know, tiddlers that allow you that use that list feature to list. Um, and, um, if you create a journal tiddler here and that's under tools, new journal, uh, it's a new tiddler right below it was a new journal. Okay, and that sort of gives you the date, tag journal. And here you can describe a little bit the work that you did um, as much as possible using terms like hypertext, links, tags, transclusions, um, the different commands that you used, um, it, you know, and the, the, different, the different pieces of TiddlyWiki that you've learned about and your understanding as much as you might want to think about it in terms of different objects. Um, and so you can write a couple of sentences or a paragraph or so that has li links to other tiddlers or even brings in those other tiddlers um, through transclusion to explain what you're talking about. Um, you can make this as detailed or as general as possible. The primary objective here is just to get you to using TiddlyWiki and to build some of these little graphics um, and to understand how to do things like tags and to be able to see objects in different sequences. So um, those of you who watched the, t the um, demonstration from this morning, um, there were a couple of things that we didn't get to here and those are, everything's kind of optional, um, but if you're interested in using the list links macro, um, we'll point you to that on the YouTube once I post it. And um, we also showed a table of contents macro, which I will, um, I'll also point you to that video. So um, if you're interested in going a little bit further, there's options to see that. And you'll probably see it if you look at the students, um, you know, who learned how to do that this morning. But um, we had two hours and here, James and I had one hour. So there we go. James, thank you very much for being a, a willing student. You're welcome. Always willing to help. You know that. I know. And um, that, that's pretty cool, actually. I like these graphics. Did you see, if you go back to mine on the left, there's a triangle <clears throat> somewhere in there. Um, yeah, search for triangle. Yeah, a lot of red and black, so thank <laughs> you for choosing different colors. And so look at the code for that. And so divide it in half, or show the preview so we can see what's happening. Yeah. And so there are three lines. The first one starts at 0, 100, X and Y. So that's the lower left, right? You go over 0 and down 100. You got one point in the grid. The next one goes over 50, down 0 and then over 100, down 100. So you have three points and it fills it in. <clears throat> so I was playing with, and now it sounds so obvious, but I was playing with this yesterday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> ah, look what I just found. Yeah, how about that? <clears throat> um, yeah, I should use that. I should learn how to teach like so that way. Um, I was playing with this last night and I could only get it to be upside down and I could not understand it because I finally showed it to my wife and I said, I do not get this, explain this to me. And she looked at it and said, well, it's just obvious. And 
in my mind, I had the grid upside down. Zero, zero was the lower left. Oh. <laughs> he said, no, it's like a spreadsheet. You live in spreadsheets all the time. They start at the top, not at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I could. And they even, I don't know. So if you change those numbers around, it's, like, it's hard. I tried to draw, draw search for the small triangle. You might be better at this math than I am. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe not. I know math is your favorite. There it is, triangle small black. <laughs> and it took me a lot to get those. <laughs> so what the <laughs> Wow. And it doesn't look right to me. It looks like a little not exactly perfect. So... Anyway, you can make all sorts of shapes like that. And if you search for SVG, there's, uh, you can search for ellipsis. I think I might have an ellipsis in here. I might have called it an oval because I couldn't spell ellipsis. No, I guess it's ellipsis. Try E-L-L. -L. I. Oh, I must have deleted it. Oh, well. Lipsis, it's a circle that's just like sort of a, it's an oval, basically. The squished circle. Yeah. So, and you can draw stars and animals, and you can get SVG files that are huge. The, the students this morning were downloading enormous ones. But we're just sticking with shapes, and it's just to sort of get some stuff moving along. So, thank you very much. I look forward to the link. Not a problem. I'll post that in a little bit. Okay, great. Take care. Okay, bye. Bye now.